Hi people. Good morning. How are you doing? My name is Lucy Chege and in my channel I call myself Lynette Chege. Please watch my contents, like and subscribe. Thank you. So it's quite cold outside today. Nairobi, Kenya has been raining. It has been pouring. That's why I'm looking this warm. It's very cloudy. It's raining every day. We thank God for the rains. Yeah, so yeah, it's good to keep warm. Mama. Yeah. Yep. Hello guys. Today I'm taking you through or taking you for a tour in my living room. Yes, so let's do this. So today I'm going to take you for a tour in my living room. This is how my wall looks like. Very plain. That's those small decorations there. Then when you come down, you see a TV there. Uh-huh. Then there is a... These are table mats that I use use these table mats they have different types of animals on them there mm -hmm. just a glimpse of how they look like so this is an old looks very old because I use it quite often the elephant one so yeah there are six of them then I have this carino lying down here it's a rhino or a hippo and I have that deco there talking about friendship I have this sideboard that I have put my TV on there's this table here it has some books. I have just covered some books there. My extension. My spectacle covers. Cover. A remote there. Chargers. Earphones. Mm -hmm. I have this color table here. Not sure how I want to use it. But it's here at the moment because I do not have a, a table. I want to do away with this. This used to be my coffee table, but I want to do away with it. So I want something small that will fit somewhere here, going that way. Then I will see what you put on that space. So, my living room, that's my tripod stand right there. Now, I want to talk about this <laughs> window curtains a bit. Now, as you can see, I have a curtain box, and you see my curtain is also sagging there. I was going for long curtains, and which I did as some months ago, a while ago actually, not some months. And when I came and put the curtains on that place, it sagged more than you can see here. So what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I took the measurements because this curtain was going all the way down but it was very heavy for that string up there it could not accommodate it so I had to cut it into two so I have two pairs of this kind of curtain here you can see it was a beautiful curtain it is still beautiful but since I had to cut it into two for it to not be very bulky, yeah, unfortunately, that's what I did. The shear you see here is an old shear I had thrifted a long time ago. And uh, coming to these chairs, now these chairs has like a story too. <laughs> Can you see how it looks like? This is how this chair looks like. 
Now, I was reapostling, reapostaring. Igrich, igrich, kithogu, mugikuyo. Yeah, shrubbing has started. So I was reapostling these chairs. And as you can see, my former chairs, I will show you photos of my how they looked before. This part here, thanks to home sires when we were in school, I did sew in this part. Can you see this part? I did sew in. This part too, I was sewing in because this fabric was uh, not enough and was in small pieces. So I had to sew in for me to just put in this part to prolong it. <laughs> just to prolong it to this part to lay down like this. My former cushions were attached to the seat. So I was trying to pull off this sponge but I decided I won't pull everything out because now this plywood will be seen so I left it as it is I also did sew this part to make this part longer than it is to fit in that part and then all this I did all this I was using, I was using one inch nails here you can see I had a hammer I had nails I had tool, I have tools in this house by the way if you look at these parts here, they are not very well neatly done. It was quite a challenge to fix in my arms. But I know hmm, I will still work this out. I will make sure. I will still do it. I will get more fabric. The fabric got finished. So I will get more fabric. I'm not sure whether I'll get the same color. Maybe I'll change the arms, the colors for the arms. And I will do this. I am pretty sure I will do this. So this looks better. This lower part here. So it wasn't hard for me to put the lower fabric on the lower part. But here. Now this is where work was. This was a lot of work. I'm screwing this. All these screws. All these screws. I had to unscrew and detach this arm. Um, this my arms these arms are attached to the sofa so i had to detach them thank god i had a flat screw <laughs> that did the job this job now behind here <laughs> not also very neat see how the finishing looks like so yes i'm yet to sew in this part here and then here to make it complete from behind so fabric 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 by that side the fabric was enough so and then for this bigger chair this is my living room so this is my door and it has that old shear that i'm telling you i had several of them they are four I have two pairs of this, so I keep changing them. This is where I put my mitungis and water. Sometimes, you know, this is Nairobi. Stuff happens. Then this is the three-seater. This is how it looks. I've just removed this kitamba here that I used, to, I used to before. I used to cover my chairs before because they were not looking very good. And they were torn. So I used to cover using those vitambas. Those who live in Nairobi, Kenya, you know how those live with the vitambas I'm talking about. This also, I was trying to just, you know, make sure it looks better than it is and cover up. The lower part had no issues at all. No issues at all. You can see how nice it looks. But on the sitting area is where the cushions were attached. You see there are some holes like hole like there were buttons on this. So I was cutting out the buttons that were attached to this to the cushions before and pulling them off and they had some glue. So I was trying to be do it carefully but yeah sometimes stuff happens. And then I decided to cover this up with this. You can see how it's not very clean because the old uh, sponge was flaking. 
So you see even this, I need to clear, I need to clean this. So, and then for the cushions, I had gone to Gikomba and uh, got these cushions. I bought these cushions. They are heavy duty, the heavy duty ones. And then I got this fabric and they fixed the fabric for me. It was nicely done because they even put a zipper, as you can see here. They have a zipper and very easy to remove in case you want to clean. So, and that's how it looks. So that just, just cover it, just cover that to avoid. Now, this is how it looks at this corner also. I want to show you now where the mess came in. After fixing this, when I came back, I forgot to take the measurements as I was going to go to buy the cushions. So you see this difference here? There's a difference here on the cushions. And that's why it's bringing in this kind of untidy job done here, which I was trying to fix in to put sponges to fill in so that the arm can look a bit better. But I am... Um, working towards it. This is not also very neatly done, but uh, it's looking better than it was before. See? This is even coming out. I have to fix it. These arms are not easy. We're not easy to fix in. So again, I had to unscrew this. These arms are screwed. All my other arms are screwed. So since I did not take the proper measurements for these cushions, they were smaller than the sofa. So they left space here again. So I was filling in this part, but I know I will work it out. I'll get more something. I will do something and I'll let you know. So this is a, it is a five seater. This is the next small seat. This is how it looks like. And uh, honestly, I feel like I did a good job. <laughs> I really tried because I was really sweating while fixing this fabric. See? How the arms are looking like not very neatly done but again as i'm saying i am trying to figure out what to do see the lower part of the under the cushion that's how it looks this is a bit better i did not pull it out completely the sponge completely and looks a bit better so so much for my sofa so much for my living room that is how my living room looks like and uh, yeah this is the top part I'm sure you have seen me here on this sofa that's how the top part looks like so it looks better but I will need to get cushions small cushions now for the back here to put here so that when you sit you sit comfortably okay that's just a small tour of my living room and then uh, what what would I want to say yeah that's I don't know if you have any comments regarding my sofa and what I can do to these parts especially on the arm here to fix it please let me know give me a comment those people who are doing interior design that part there this part doesn't look very bad but my arms need something better to look better they need some good work good job i'm trying to figure out how i will do that but i'm sure i am pretty sure i will change i will definitely change this color of the armpit before they serve me a bit and then maybe i replace i reupholster again the whole i buy new fabric again the reason why i was we are postering these chairs is because I didn't want to get rid of these chairs. These chairs have very good wood. The best wood ever. They are very heavy. You can actually, you cannot lift. I cannot even lift this one from here alone. I can't. They are very heavy and I felt like uh, I was not going to get rid of it. <laughs> the shell of the the sofa so the best thing and i will keep reapostering reapostering these chairs this sofa until further notice yeah 
because I love the wood. I like, like, like this wood. This wood is very heavy. Do you know this chair? I had even removed. I had a carpet. But I am so allergic to dust. I kept cleaning that carpet so like every two weeks because of the dust around here. And I got tired because it was a big carpet. So I just washed it and kept it away. And I decided I want to stay like this. But I think it's good to get a small carpet just for this area. Just a small one for this place where I'm sitting. Just a small one. I don't want a big thing. So that I can be cleaning it whenever I want. Yeah. So that's so much for my uh, living room. And that's just a, a tour of my living room so let me just take you through again that's how my three seater looks like please like and subscribe to my youtube channel kindly support a sister girl you people please do support a sister girl and uh, yeah that's just about it on the living room yeah see you on the next video bye god bless you